Ki Hong Kim, an assistant professor of food science, is working on a potential new method to control obesity. We have a number of different chemicals uh, of interest that we like to test their function in controlling or modulating the new fat cell development and generation. In this study, resveratrol, a compound found in red wine, grapes, and other fruits, and thought to combat a number of diseases, including cancer and heart disease, is converted to picietinol. So picietinol is one of the chemicals we've been studying for many years. And we found out recently that the picietinol is able to you know, inhibit or delay the new fat cell generation. Kim found that picietinol binds to insulin receptors of immature fat cells in the early stages of a fat cell's life blocking insulin's ability to control the cell's maturation. The picatinol is playing an inhibitory role in the fat cell development, and we believe that's through its specific action to alter uh, a, a cellular in a signaling pathway called insulin signaling. So in fact, during the early stage of cell conversion, insulin has to be binding to in insulin receptor, which is sitting on the cell surface. What we found is picatinol is actually interfering the insulin action is binding to insulin receptor on cell surface. So picatinol binds and occupies the free available insulin receptor protein sitting on the cell surface. Therefore, it results in the delaying or inhibiting the fat cell differentiation program. Kim's study is based on a cell culture system. He would like to confirm his current finding using an animal model of obesity. So if we can actually use both resveratrol and picatinol in an animal or human study, we, we may be able to see some synergistic effect from those two chemicals in, in a, uh, controlling or delaying the development of obesity. So that's what we like to test in the future. We are now testing our idea using animal model obesity to see whether we can see same beneficial function in the health from animal and human.